pain and suffering are unfortunately an inevitable part of life that can really affect us emotionally, get us off track physically, or even knock us down spiritually. But God wants us to rise up because there's a lot to learn in our seasons of pain. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five ways that God uses our pain for the good. The first way that God uses our pain is to draw us closer to Him. Psalm 34 18 says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. When we're hurting and depressed and broken and just really going through it, we cannot forget that God is always there with us. He's close to us in our seasons of pain and He sees our troubles and He cares deeply for us. Psalm 145.18 says, The Lord is near to all who call on Him, who call on Him in truth. God wants for us to call out to Him and to pray to Him and to tell Him how we feel when we are in seasons of pain and hurt. Prayer is our way of communicating with God and He wants to use our seasons of pain as an opportunity to build a deeper relationship with Him. God doesn't want for us to suffer alone. He wants for us to turn to Him and rely on Him because He will help us. Psalm 46 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is our security, He's our safety, He's our help, and He is our strength in times of need. When we're hurting, it's always an opportunity to turn to God instead of relying on ourselves. God will provide for us in our struggles and pain, and He will give us the wisdom and the guidance and the strength that we need to endure the hard times. Psalm 55 22 says, Cast your burdens on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Give it all. Give it all to God. Unleash every emotion, every hurt, every feeling of pain. Give it all to God. Tell Him in prayer. Our burdens and our loads, they're too heavy for us to carry on our own. God wants to carry our loads and He wants for us to trust and have faith that He will handle it. Revelation 21 4 says, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. This verse promises us that God will not only comfort us in our sorrows, but He will also bring the healing and the deliverance that we need. The second way that God uses our pain is to teach us perseverance. Perseverance means that despite our difficulties, our struggles, our conflicts, or the obstacles that we face, we keep going and we never give up. James chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Perseverance is what makes us stronger and able to handle difficulties as they come in life. Perseverance teaches us to be resilient, which is the ability to bounce back and get back up when we fall. Pastor Rick Warren once said that the number one quality of those who win in life is resilience. Perseverance grows and builds our faith by teaching us that God can and will help us endure struggles and overcome challenging times in our life. Hebrews 10.36 says, You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what God has promised. God promises us strength, He promises us healing, He promises protection, He promises us comfort, He promises to restore us, He promises us peace, and God promises us victory. We will win when we walk with God. Galatians 6 9 says, We must never get tired of doing what is right and good, for at the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up or quit. 
Life is always going to be a battle of highs and lows, of good times and bad times, but unfortunately, there are going to be seasons of pain and suffering. But God does not want us to quit. He wants us to rise up. He wants us to continue doing good. And when we do, we are promised blessings upon blessings in our life. The third way that God uses our pain is to mature us and grow our character. Romans 5.3 says, not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character and hope. Your character can be defined as your morals or your personality or even the way you think, feel, and behave. Every time that we suffer, God is working in us and for us, trying to build our character and teach us important life lessons and also strengthen the way that we think and how we look at things. And as we suffer, we actually become more like Jesus. We become more humble and loving and patient. James 1.4 says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. God wants for us to be mature and complete. He wants us to grow in wisdom, he wants us to grow spiritually, and he wants to grow our faith in him. Whenever we are in a season of pain and suffering, we should always use it as an opportunity to turn our face to God for God's strength and his deliverance. The fourth way that God uses our pain is to comfort others who are suffering. 2 Corinthians 1-3-4 says, Praise be to the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all of our troubles so we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Since we have received God's comfort and compassion in our seasons of pain, he wants for us to go out and give that same compassion and comfort to others who are also hurting and suffering as well. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore, comfort one another and build up one another, just as you are also doing. The Bible tells us to comfort each other, and sometimes we may not know the right way to comfort others, but some ways that we can comfort others are by checking in through a phone call or a text, spending quality time together, doing a good deed like maybe sending them a meal to their home, reminding them of God's promises, and also sharing encouraging scriptures with them. Hebrews 10 24 says, let us be concerned for one another to help one another to show love and do good deeds. We weren't meant to suffer alone. We all need each other to lean on at one point or another and especially during hard times in our life, we could all use comfort, compassion, love and encouragement from each other. The fifth way that God uses our pain is to fulfill the plan and the purpose that he has for our life. 1 Corinthians 2.9 tells us, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagine what God has prepared for those who love him. God has a divine purpose for your life far greater and bigger than anything that you could imagine or think on your own. And God uses our pain and suffering to grow us and strengthen us and season us and build qualities in us that we will need to fulfill the plan and purpose that he has for our lives. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. God works all things in our life for the good, and we cannot forget that. He works the painful things, the hard things, the stressful things, the challenging things, the mistakes that we've made. God doesn't waste our pain, and he doesn't want us to waste our pain either. So if you're dealing with pain, let that be the fuel, the fuel that brings you closer to God, the fuel that grows your character, the fuel that grows your faith. Amen.